Whew. The deal I found on these was too hard to pass up. What's good, everybody? It's Lewis back again with another episode for you on the Way Your Kicks channel. And man, I'm happy to be bringing you this content today. Today's video is on a reach back sneaker that I told you I recently had copped at a sneaker show I was at. Now, that show I was at was called Hype Fest, which was down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. But before we get into any of that, guys, please smash that like button for me. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Very happy to have you here. Go ahead and hit that subscriber button. Click that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop one of these videos. And don't forget, guys, this Sunday, I am closing out the $100, 100 subscriber giveaway. And if you notice, we're actually trending towards 300 subscribers. But the next giveaway isn't going to be until I believe I'm going to do 500. With the way this channel is growing, I want to get some time before I go ahead and do the next giveaway, guys. All right, let's go ahead and get into these right here. And right away, you see the infamous I'm a Manier sleeve that comes on them and your traditional Jordan 12 box with the Amma Manier writing here on both sides. Let me go ahead and flip the lid open for you. And there you have it, the infamous Jordan 12 flu game picture. And this particular pair only came out on tier zero stores and Amma Manier site itself. It's never released on the sneakers app now. This was a women's exclusive that came in extended sizing, so bigger feet for people like myself. Now, they did not come in a size 13 and a half, which was a 12. This size in particular is a 13W, which is 11 and a half men's, but I can pretty much fit both when it comes to my Jordans. But in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the characteristics and features on here. So we do have the all white leather that runs from the front of the toe all the way back through the heel there. You also have the burgundy suede that runs on both sides of the shoe. And you have your infamous Amma Manier hang tag here, which I think is really nice that they actually went ahead and matched uh, the hang tag to the leather on the sneaker. And on the tongue, you have the Amma Manier A. And inside the sock liner, you have the white quilted sock liner in there. And the feel of this is actually pretty premium. It's not like the Amamanier 4s, which for whatever reason was very stiff and needed a break-in period. Now, Jordan 12s are usually pretty comfortable to wear, so I think these will definitely be worn a lot more often than my 4s would, but you know, with them being white, I got to make sure to keep these guys clean. And speaking of the white, now, when they were releasing these, Amma Manier actually put out a statement about the fact that the suede coloring actually bleeds into the leather a little bit. So when I saw these, I took a very, very hard look at them and saw that the bleeding was actually pretty minimal. I'm not sure if it's going to come up for you guys on camera, but in person, when you take a nice hard look at them, you can see a little bit of the bleed, but I don't believe it's anything that, you know, a dry eraser or anything will be able to not get out. Now, the price point I was able to pay for these was actually $190. Now, the retail release price was $225, but because of those QC issues, like the bleeding I was talking about, that's what caused this price to drop because at one point i believe these were going for maybe five six hundred dollars it could be even more i would you know need to research that but that doesn't even particularly matter at this point what does matter is the fact that had i got them on StockX, i would have had to pay shipping i would have had to pay taxes i would have had to pay the stock x fees and i was able to avoid that paying for somebody right there at the show and here is the actual business card from the guy and here he has a qr code there you can go ahead and pause the video and snap that if you want and go ahead and see what kind of inventory he has now i've had some decent luck a lot of times going to sneaker shows and being able to negotiate so i would definitely 
encourage you if you're looking to pick up some shoes possibly you missed on to go to a show in your local area and see maybe if you can come up on a deal all right let's go ahead and take a look at the right shoe and on the right shoe on the tongue you get the jump man there and then on the back you actually get the messaging quality products inspired by culture now on the left sneaker you take a look here at the back it says quality products inspired by the greatest player ever now usually you would get this message on both 12s but you know with this being a collaboration pair a special pair you're obviously not going to get that and later on this year we are supposed to be getting the amba manier fives now there's a black pair which james whitner has actually been spotted wearing and they're supposed to be a gray pair now i haven't seen any on feet images of that but i'm definitely checking for that shoe and that's probably my favorite of the two amba manier fives if i can bring you an in-hand review of any one of those sneakers i'm hoping it's that gray one but it'd be even better I can get my hands on both and then make a better decision once I have both sneakers in hand, which really is my favorite. Now, before we close out the Jordan 3 Wizard PE's exclusive access from JD Sport finish line for in-store pickup did go out today and we should be getting the online exclusive access tomorrow. Usually they do Wednesday, Thursday. This time they're doing Thursday, Friday. Doesn't really matter. The release date for that sneaker is this Saturday, April 29th. I was able to reserve myself a pair and I will be picking them up on Saturday and we'll bring you an in-hand and on-foot review of that sneaker. Also, guys, there were some W's and some more L's that went out today from a few raffles that ended up closing out on the Travis Scott One Low Olives. Now, once I do get my pair in hand from the sneakers app, I will be giving you an on-foot and in-hand review of that shoe as well. Let me know if you were able to snag yourself a pair or if unfortunately you ended up taking an L. Now, this is probably the last Travis Scott and Jordan collaboration on the Jordan 1 that we're going to get. Now, we're supposed to possibly get a Jordan 7 Travis Scott. I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, but this sneaker in particular, it was the most stock ever with 108,000 pairs dropping on the sneakers app. And that's part of the reason why the resale is a lot lower on the shoe, even though it is a tier zero sneaker. In this particular case, guys, don't get the FOMO bug and run out and pay that high resale. That resale price will drop over time just because of the amount of stock that's out there. But make sure you don't drag your feet too long once that price does dip because at some point it will revert back up and that resale price is going to start jumping. Anyways, this is Lewis of the Way Your Kicks channel reminding you that every day is a great day to wear your kicks.